Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something exciting to talk about, the brand new public beta release of OpenSUSE Leap 16. Whether you're a Linux beginner or an OpenSUSE fan, this is a big deal because it shows us the future of OpenSUSE and trust me, there are some major changes coming. So let's break it down. Before we jump into the new features, let's quickly explain what OpenSUSE Leap is, in case you're new to the OpenSUSE world. OpenSUSE is a Linux distribution, basically an operating system like Windows or Mac OS, but open source and free. It's known for being stable, reliable and is very popular in both personal and enterprise environments. Now, Leap is the more stable, long-term support version of OpenSUSE. It's perfect for people who want a dependable system they can install and use for years without having to worry about constant updates breaking things. Now, let's get to the good stuff. What's new in OpenSUSE Lib 16? This new version is built on something called the Adaptable Linux Platform or ILP for short. That's SUSE's next generation platform for both desktops and servers. It's designed to be modern, secure and modular. And OpenSUSE Lib 16 takes full advantage of this technology. If you're not familiar with what the kernel is, think of it as the heart of your operating system. It's what talks to your computer's hardware and makes everything run smoothly. Version 6.12 brings improved hardware support, better performance and a lot of important security updates. One of the biggest changes in Lib16 is the brand new installer called Agama. In the past, OpenSUSE used something called Yast for installing the operating system. It worked well, but it was starting to feel a little outdated. Agama is a modern installer designed by the same OpenSUSE team but with a fresh new approach. Agama is flexible, easier to maintain and designed to work across different types of OpenSUSE editions like Tumbleweed, MicroOS and Slow Roll. That's a huge improvement because it means OpenSUSE can deliver a more consistent experience no matter what version you install. Right now when you install Lib16, you'll get three main installation options. Base system, basically a server setup with no desktop interface. GNOME 47 desktop for those who prefer a clean modern interface and KDE Plasma 6.3 for people who like a customizable Windows-like environment. Both GNOME and KDE now run using Wayland only. If you've never heard of Wayland, it's a modern system that handles graphics and displays on Linux, replacing the older X11 system. Wayland offers better security, smoother animations and better support for modern hardware. Another big shift in Lib16 is the change from AppArmor to CE Linux as the default security system. Ok, let's simplify this. AppArmor and CE Linux are both tools that control what apps on your system are allowed to do. It's like a security guard that makes sure apps don't access things they shouldn't. OpenSUSE has been using AppArmor for years, but starting with Lib16, they're switching to CE Linux because it has a large community of developers behind it, it's already used in many enterprise Linux distributions, is known to be better for securing high security environments. It's a big move, but one that should make Leap even safer in the long run. Let's talk about a few other exciting features coming in Leap16. Leap16 improves its software manager called Zipper. Zipper now supports parallel package downloads, which means it can download multiple updates or apps at the same time instead of one by one. This will make installing and updating software much faster, especially for big updates. This one sounds complicated, but it's good news. Lib16 uses RIS-based repository management split by system architecture. In plain English, it makes downloading software and updates faster and smoother by keeping the data more organized and lightweight. If you've ever wanted to manage your Linux system through a simple web interface, you'll love this. Lib16 includes Cockpit, a user-friendly tool that lets you monitor system performance, manage users, start or stop services and install updates, all from your web browser. It's especially useful for home servers or people who prefer a graphical interface over the command line. Yast has been the heart of OpenSUSE system management for decades. Now OpenSUSE is introducing a tool called Merlin as a modern replacement for some of Yast's features. Merlin is designed to be simpler, faster and more in line with today's system management needs. It won't fully replace Yast just yet, but it's a sign that OpenSUSE is moving towards modern tools while still respecting its history. 
The final release of OpenSUSE Lip 16 is planned for October 2025. Until then, the team will keep testing and polishing it. You can download the beta version right now from the official OpenSUSE website, but keep in mind, it's a beta so you may run into bugs. It's perfect for testing and getting a sneak peek, but probably not ideal for your main computer just yet. So there you have it, a first look at what's coming in OpenSUSE Lib 16. To quickly recap, it's built on the modern ILP platform, comes with Linux kernel 6.12 LTS, features the new Agama installer, GNOME 47 and KDE Plasma 6.3, Wayland only. CE Linux replaces App Armor. Faster software updates with parallel downloads. New system management tools like Cockpit. And Merlin begins replacing part of Yast. OpenSUSE Lib 16 is shaping up to be one of the most exciting and modern releases in OpenSUSE's history. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on Linux news, tips and reviews, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.